Hi everyone, welcome back to Metropolis. It is time once again for a pickups video. Yep, we're almost into July, so that means June pickups are here. Now, obviously, I went to um, Comic Con Midlands uh, this month where I met the gorgeous Lucy Lawless. What an awesome experience that was. Um, I picked up a few things there, so I'm not going to show you guys uh, what they were because they were in my previous video. So if you want to go and see those pickups, if you haven't done so already, please refer back to that one. However, I will show you one pickup from that video because if you'd watched it, you might have seen me unbox these live in a mystery um, bag. Basically, Turtles Pin Pops, Funko Pin Pops. Um, I've never had a Funko Pin Pop, so that's pretty cool. So there are three of these. So naturally, had Leonardo. Let me see if you can see it better. There. Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Donnie himself, Donatello. So because of that, obviously, then I had to go and complete the set by getting Raphael. So yeah, picked up quite cheaply as well. Um, that bag was good value for money. It was £10. These are like £4 a pop. <laughs> Pun not intended, but it worked out so well. Uh, so they're currently like on my kitchen windowsill. Well, they're not currently on my kitchen windowsill because I'm showing you right now, but that's where they are going to be. Yeah, so that was cool. Um, right, so I do have some other pickups this month. Uh, I do have some games as well. What should I start with? Right, okay, let's start with this part, I think. So, popped into Cardiff, met up with a couple of friends, and I don't buy many Blu-rays these days because you've got like, streaming services all over the place, I don't feel the need to. But um, I bought Wonka on Blu-ray. I haven't watched this yet, but I am a sucker for musicals. Um, so I thought, yeah, let's give that one a shout. Look how thin these cases have become as well. So they've never been asked them when I bought them in the past. That's good though. More room on the shelves, isn't it? So we've got Wonka. Um, bought a couple of comics, uh, Darkwing Duck, Justice Ducks, so I bought the first issue there, of course I'm going to have to keep hunting these down and finding them all because I also bought issue 2 um, of the Justice Ducks saga or arc, so why the Justice Ducks, um, I used to have this on VHS, um, the episodes where Darkwing Duck formed the Justice Ducks um, to battle all the villains, so I thought oh I remember this. So I thought I'd pick those two up, nice and sealed from Sin City Comics in Cardiff. Um, there's one, there's a Sin City Comics shop in Newport as well. Uh, great place. You find so many cool things there. It's like oh, merchandise, comics, statues, anything you can think of is there. Well, maybe not anything you can think of, but then you know. And then in HMV, I also found this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, graphic novel. So this is the second one in the series basically the first one was released was like uh the first one released was like unreleased episodes uh you go collects issues one to five of the new ongoing teenage Mutant ninja tools saturday morning adventures but issues one to five that's confused me now because i would have said uh this was something else nah i definitely haven't got these stories at all swapping pads so that's awesome. I'll keep an eye out for these because I love me turtles, as you know. I've read the first one as well, and that was pretty good. I think I'll see then. Oh, so maybe the first volume was unreleased episodes, and then this is the actual comic series. Then that makes sense. Right, put that a bit there. Right then, should we do some video games? Yes, I have video games for a change. Um, the first one up is Paper Mario. The what's it called? The Thousand Year Door. Uh, obviously for the Switch. Um, I've never played any Paper Mario games in my life, so I saw this and I thought, yeah, let's give that a try. Because lately, right, with my video games, I've been in a bit of a lull ever since I completed Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which was absolutely incredible. Um, I'm looking at my games and I'm like, oh, I don't know which one to play, or like, I'm not into that. Why did I buy that? And I've been playing some of them. I've played um, Death Stranding. I uh, couldn't get into that at all. Um, don't get me wrong, the graphics were absolutely gorgeous on that game, really nice. But uh, the gameplay and just carrying things back and forth, you know, it just wasn't for me. I was like, ah. Oh. So I stopped playing that, I've put that in storage for now. I might go back to it one day. And then I also was playing um, Star Ocean The Divine Force, because uh, I love my RPGs, but I 
just didn't like that. I thought it was too, I don't know, too complicated these days. When you, I like the basics. I want to go back to basics, like proper turn-based games. Um, but then the add-ons. There's so many things to remember, so many menus to navigate. And I was like, and the story I thought was a bit naff. The character design I didn't like. I didn't like the characters either. So I was like, oh, sod this. I thought because I'm wasting my time here playing a game I'm not really into when I could be playing a game I actually like. Anyway, before we get on to more Star Ocean. Um, I want to go back to Paper Mario because with Paper Mario came a free gift. We had some paper. Hey, paper. Yeah, paper. This paper to be precise because then you could make your own paper airplane. It gives you instructions down there how to do it. Confused me a little bit. I um, haven't made a paper airplane since, gosh, school, primary school, something like that. This is my first attempt, guys. This is my Mario paper airplane. Not too bad. It doesn't exactly match up the angles and stuff. But um, yeah, I thought I'd give that a go. Hey, there he is. Um, of course, I've got like four more pieces of paper here to practice there. It's a fun Sunday afternoon sorted, isn't it? However, here is some pre recorded footage of how my flights go. Hmm. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Okay, moving on then. Um, back to Star Ocean, because I did go out and buy this. Star Ocean, the second story R. Um, so why did I buy Star Ocean after not enjoying the previous entry? Well, because I used to enjoy the Star Ocean RPGs, and I knew they could be good. And this one appealed to me. I think this is based on the second Star Ocean. It's like a HD remake or something. I might be wrong there, so correct me in the comments below. Sorry, I just caught my hand on Paper Mario again. Um, so if you look at the back of this, the characters are all pixelated, so proper pixel retro graphics, but like in a 3D world, I think it really works out well. Um, I like the story, I like the, the music, the gameplay, everything I didn't like about um, the Divine Force, I love in this one. So I've been playing through this recently, I've done about 20 odd hours uh, on it, and yeah, very good. Um, yeah, we're going to carry on with this after I've made this video, I think. Nice quiet afternoon. Uh, so they're the only games I've picked up. Now then, guys. Brook your hair. With all the way merchandise out there, how can Metropolis keep on showing you new Brook your hair pickups like every month, pretty much at the moment? I know, it's crazy, right? So obviously I've had like fan art, uh, fan art, fan art, fan art uh, drawn for me. Um, I picked up um, the Brook your hair poster from Barry Comic Con. Uh, Last month. Was that back in May then? Wow, that's flown by. Yeah, good day that was with Retro Red Steve, um, Pedda and Goodwin's Place. He was selling there. Anyway, so now I've actually found two, two pieces of Buck Your Hair merchandise from the 90s that um, I always, I've had my eye on for years, but they come up very rarely and they're quite expensive. Unless you get a good deal like I did. I can't even remember what our deal is, so please don't ask me. I have to look back at eBay. The first one is the Buck Your Hair Giant Colour Activity Book. There you go. Look at that. The Bucky on the back, but the Bucky on the front. Yeah, it's cool. I do love the artwork of a Buck Your Hair. I've always said it. So basically, then, this is a colouring book and also has activities. Some of these you'd find in the comics. So, this first two pages, for example, um, they are featured on the back of the Book Your Hair comics released in the UK. Awesome, they do like all the good guys, all the bad guys, and then like ships and stuff like that from the show. That is actually my phone case, although coloured. Uh, speaking of phone case, um, I just ordered a new Book Your Hair phone case because I'm getting a new phone. And I've actually already upgraded, but I'm waiting for it to come in stock, so probably picking that up tomorrow. Right, and what else can we do in this? You've got like games that you can cut out, like uh, cards to match up. I've actually been through this and it's quite good. You've got, um, got, you've got Bucky with Mimi Lafu there. Kind of Bucky's love interest. Well, Jenny is kind of Bucky's love, uh, love interest, but it's kind of like a love triangle. 
not explored because obviously it's a kids show and uh, it only lasted for 13 episodes. There you go, you've got Bucky in his uh, righteous indignation cockpit then. You can finish drawing the toad. Um, so that toad was, uh, those, that type of puzzle was quite often featured in the uh, in the comics. And you've got a lovely one of your Gruiser and his mum. I remember that episode, I have to go back and do that. I am thinking of um, doing like, a Buck Your Hair series. Let's explore the entire Annieverse of it and stuff like that. Annieverse because that's what they call the Buck Your Hair universe. Got like um, the door hanger thing for your room. Welcome. And then there's Blinky showing some picture of the Happy Toad family before they became brainwashed by Complex. We've also got this hanger, Do Not Disturb What Else, which is totally Marshall. Yeah, so that's pretty cool to have. By the way, none of this is filled in or coloured. And I'm not going to do that either. I'm going to keep it as is. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And the last one is even rarer, I'd say. Um, very random as well. It's none other than a box of 39 cards from Bucky O'Hare. Bucky O'Hare Valentine cards. How awesome is that? Uh, obviously the box has been a bit squished, but it's still pretty good condition, especially the price I paid for it as well. Um, there you go, there's some examples of the cards on the back, but inside you've got little envelopes to send them in. I would say I don't know if any of those are really good these days. Yeah, that sticker's long gone, my friend. Long gone. Long gone silver. And then, these are the actual cards. So, I don't know if I get these out properly. There's several sets of these. Let's get them all out. Right, here we go. So, I'll put those up close so you can see some of those. So, you've got a couple of dead eye ducks. Uh, and then, we'll turn it. Yeah, that way. Got even see even Toadborg is sending um, a Valentine's card. How awesome is that? What's that one say at the bottom? Be totally mine. I love these. Be my Valentine is a direct order from the Toad Empire. I was hoping to be a Valentine. After we bonk Toads, will you be my Valentine? This is for you, be my Valentine. But also, we've got uh, the inside now. we got some from Bucky himself. Got Blinky there. Another Dead Eye one. Dead Eye Popper. Uh, we do it. Another Bucky one. Oh, look, Jenny and Weed down there. Dear me. Oh, there you go. This is the full thing, actually. All worked. Yeah, so that one. You're getting to be a rabbit with me. Wow. I've got my eye on you, Valentine. Uh, of course, Blinky's got one big eye. Makes sense. Would you be my Valentine pal? So you can have Valentine friends. It's not about someone you've got a crush on. You could just give one to be a Valentine friend. What kind of friend I'd be, I don't know, but you know. Nobody <laughs> makes a better Valentine than you. Oh dear. Um, never think you want Happy Valentine's Day. You will be my Valentine, won't you? Yeah, you're a blast. So the question is, guys. Will I be sending any Valentine's cards out in the post to all of you, my subscribers? Who knows, eh? Who knows what might turn up on the doorstep? Well, in the post, not the doorstep, would be a bit weird. It'd be me going, hiya! Got a Valentine's card for you. Um, so that's awesome. Hang on, let me put this back properly. Right, there you go. Yay! So that's obviously going to stay in the collection forever. Okay guys, those are my pickups. Thank you very much for watching. Um, don't hear again recording this video because I'm still having work done to the house and my games room is full at the moment so I can't get back in there, back in there, back into the mat cave. Um, like I said, I do want to do a Bucky Your Hair series. Um, I've got the DVR ready, start watching the episodes again. Of course in a moment, it's just finding the time, finding the effort to watch them all, edit things, um, you know, research plan, things like that. I wanted to do a Batman 66 series, but that is a huge, huge ask. Maybe when I retire one day. Um, but another games, uh, another series I want to do is based on video games. Yes, bringing the video games back to Metropolis. Um, that's a series I've had planned for years. 
I've got um, a file on my iPad planning it and I haven't got any further of it. It's quite an easy one to do as well, so I won't tell you what it is yet. But anyway guys, that is all for me. Let me know what you thought about all that in the comments below. Below. Hope you're all well. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Uh, and yeah, as ever, boom, see you soon.